We wanted to do two things. We wanted to equip Christians to have answers to help them defend their faith because science so-called today, modern science, uh, supposedly has shown that the Bible is not trustworthy. We wanted to show Christians that uh, the Bible is, uh, presents the true history uh, of the universe and also that Christianity uh, can be logically defended, that it's very reasonable. And secondly, we wanted to have the non-Christians or skeptics to come here and see that same message and also respond to the gospel message. Scientists do things differently. We actually go out into the world, whether it's physics, astronomy, biology, what have you, and we ask specific questions about how the Earth works and all the organisms that live on it. The fact is, the Bible claims to be not only just a history book, but the Word of God, and we better take it seriously if it really is the Word of God. Science doesn't look at belief. It looks at the amount of data it can gather, the observations one can make, and the validation of that data. Jeffrey Dahmer killing and eating people is clearly wrong. Well, if you have an evolutionary worldview, you have no basis for that. And to think that everything is static, that there's no change in the genetic makeup ever that has taken place on this planet is just total lunacy. You may remember a couple of years ago at the Dover trials in Pennsylvania where creationism was uh, going to be taught in the classroom and that was found to be illegal because of the separation of church and state. Those are the young people we're concerned about that may, when they become adults, decide to leave the church because they think perhaps evolution has shown that the Bible can't be trusted. Based on the evidence, I would say yes, I do believe that man uh, existed alongside dinosaurs. I never thought about it in that way until recently when the Creation Museum opened up. And then I believe that's true, that dinosaurs did live alongside people. Evolutionary theory could have been the plan by which the Creator decided that life would come to be on this planet. So, I mean, those, those explanations are, there's nothing to really fear in my own personal opinion. <laughs>